The Word of God gives us the understanding of two kinds of righteousness. The first is self-righteousness and this is simply an attempt to live right or up to God's standard in the law or the Ten Commandments without the Holy Spirit. Now there are two groups of people who fall under this category. There are those that have not given their lives to Jesus. They still have that sinful Adamic nature but try in their own ability or strength to be good people as they put it. So just like the Pharisees, the outside of the cup may look clean but the inside is still dirty because they still have that sinful Adamic nature. The second group that falls under this category are those that received Christ, became born again but no longer continue in the spirit. So instead of looking onto Jesus as the author and finisher of our faith, the focus of this group is now on themselves. Christ is of no effect unto them. They have fallen from grace as they seek to be justified by keeping a set of laws. So the other kind of righteousness is the true righteousness, which is the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. And it's where people who submit to Christ um, have their heart of stone or heart of sin removed and a heart of flesh or heart of righteousness given to them by Christ. Now, because they did not earn this righteousness, uh, it's a free gift from God. Therefore, they cannot boast about the outworking of this kind of righteousness, which can be seen in a form of good deeds. Now, they continue to look unto Jesus as they walk in spirit, and by that, the righteous requirements of the law is fulfilled in them. In summary, there is two kinds of righteousness. There is self-righteousness, which is an attempt to live up to God's standards in the law or the Ten Commandments without the Holy Spirit. And then there is the righteousness of God, which is the righteous nature God puts in us as we submit to Jesus, which is released as we continue in spirit. Self-righteousness is described uh, in scriptures as filthy rags because it cannot accomplish the righteousness of God, which we freely receive from Christ and release as we continue on in the Holy Spirit.